How do I make this taller? My name is Sarah, and I'm a junior at Lincoln High. You go! And my poem does not have a name. Oh my gosh, your hair is so exotic. You're so brave to wear your hair like that. Can I touch it? Where did you get yours done? I wanted the exact same, box braids and all. My African hair. My African hair. My African hair. My African hair. My hair. And you think that you and your aggressions can get through my thick hair? The hair that has been passed down through generation and generation? The hair that survived war, rape, relocation, abuse, and deportation? And you think that you and your aggressions can cut my hair? Heck no. My hair is as thick as it comes. Thicker than the tree trunk of generations, and no razor can cut that. Not even the blade that cut the ancestors' ties so their stolen children were able to take their hair. And you think that you and your aggressions are more than that? Your aggressions are a dull toy knife scraping at the surface. My hair is beautiful. My hair makes me mad, upset, cry, and angry, but brings me joy and happiness. But that is the hair I was born with. My hair has culture. Secrets shared and passed down. My hair represents a dynasty. And you and your trends with your friends who think you can take up my hair for a day will never understand the pain, happiness, trauma, and joy that I have growing out of my hair. So no, my hair is not exotic. My hair is a national treasure. No, you may not touch my hair. My hair is not a touch and go display. It's on display for you. No, I am not brave for wearing my hair. My ancestors struggled to get me here with the hair. And don't you dare take up hair you know nothing about. I hair is my hair, and no one, no one can change that.